Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We released a compatibility framework as part of Android 11 to help minimize the impact of platform updates and make it easier for apps to stay compatible. You can force enable or disable platform changes individually, either from a device's developer options or using ADB. To learn more about how to test your app against Android 11 using test matrices in Android Studio 4.2 and best practices for keeping your app compatible, check out the post and the rest of the content from the Android 11 Compatibility Week. We released new smart home entertainment device types and traits for Google Assistant, helping to build out a more complete solution for smart home media and gaming devices, including audio video receivers, streaming devices, soundbars, and speakers. By implementing these types and traits on your entertainment devices, you could enable users to fully access device and media controls from any Assistant surface. For more information, head on over to the post. We unveiled a new Grow Your Cloud Career webpage where you can find information on in-demand cloud career paths and free upskilling and reselling resources. You can earn your first Google Cloud skill badges for your resume while exploring career paths such as data analyst, cloud engineer, and cloud application developer. Check out the post to learn more. Google Cloud VMware Engine is now generally available, enabling you to seamlessly migrate your existing VMware-based applications to Google Cloud without refactoring or rewriting them. The service delivers a fully managed VMware Cloud Foundation hybrid cloud platform, including VMware technologies vSphere, vCenter, vSAN, NSXT, and HCX in a dedicated environment on Google Cloud's infrastructure. The post has more details, as well as information about the Cloud Next 20 on-air session. We announced the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion track as part of Cloud Next 20 on Air, which shares knowledge and creates space within our broader cloud community about the role we can all play in making sure we are building for everyone. Check out the post for information on the sessions and interactive workshops. We announced that TensorFlow is providing users with the ability to specify how operations can be fused, allowing for seamless conversion of TensorFlow Keras LSTM operations. You can also plug in a user to find RNN conversion to TensorFlow Lite. For more on using fused operations in TensorFlow, including TensorFlow Lite conversion, head on over to the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> I don't know. All right. <laughs>